I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of basic electrical engineering. Uh, in this session, I'm going to discuss the most important questions, uh, which is uh, which are repeated already in the year of uh, June, July 2023 uh, for the particular subjects. OK, so it's applicable for 2022 scheme and uh, universities, Vishweshwari or Technological University and also other university students also can refer the similar kind of questions. So moving on to the discussion. So I'm going to talk about uh, the, the questions from uh, module 2 and module 3. From module 2, one question had been already repeated in the, explained already in the previous session. So this is another set. Question number 4, explain the gen generation of three-phase AC and list out the advantages. Okay. So how do we generate the three-phase AC? So you have to explain with the Faraday's law. Okay. Uh, explain. Okay. Explain with the Faraday's law. Like we can put like the three coils, okay, three coil which are kept at uh, mutually perpendicular each other, okay, like that you can draw the diagram and it just to be rotated, okay. Now, how um, the voltage is getting generated that you can explain and you have to explain the three equations, okay, three equations you are supposed to mention. What are the three equations? For example, ER that is equal to EM. Uh, sin omega t, then E R E Y E Y is equal to E M uh, sin omega t minus 120. E B is equal to uh, E M uh, sin omega t minus 240 degree or plus 120 degree. Okay, this equation you are supposed to explain. Then later you have to mention about the advantages. That means less number of conductors can be used. It is suitable for like a, a high power application. For high power application, three phase system is really economical. Also, the losses are less compared to single phase. Okay. Uh, similarly, the usage of conductors can be saved. So, the economy, it supports for economy as well. Then, uh, three phase induction motors are self starting, where single phase induction motors are non self starting. Those peculiarity you can explain. Okay. I think you can manage it. So, so those points you are supposed to explain in this particular question. Definitely you will be getting the full score. Explain with the help of neat diagrams also, which I mentioned you a bit early. So kindly adopt the same thing for your examination. Question number uh, 4B. So it's a numerical example. Okay, it's a numerical example. So a coil uh, has an inductance of 0 0.05 uh, 0 Henry. Okay, 0 0.05 uh, Henry and the resistance of uh, 10 no okay it is basically an rl circuit rl circuit which is connected to 200 volt ac supply okay 200 volt ac supply 200 volt 50 hertz okay and calculate the impedance so how to calculate the impedance so formula is available uh, Z Z is equal to okay uh, v divided by I. So voltage is already given. How to calculate the I? I you are supposed to calculate. Uh, okay. Otherwise, you can use directly R Z is equal to root of uh, R square plus XL square. R square plus XL square. XL is nothing but inductive reactance L omega. That means L into angular frequency omega that is given by 2 pi f. Okay, F is already given. Then you can compute Excel. R is already given directly. Directly you substitute. Okay, then you will be getting the Z. Then current is equal to, I already told you one equation at the beginning. Uh, I is equal to V by Z. Okay, I is equal to V by Z. From this equation, I can write. Z is equal to V by I. Then I can calculate I is equal to V by Z. That is the second part. The power consumed. P is equal to V I cos phi. P is equal to VI cos phi that you can uh, compute. Okay, where cos phi is the power factor. So, how to calculate cos phi, you may ask me. Cos phi is equal to R by Z. If you follow this expression, definitely you will be getting the answer. So, question number 4C, uh, there is an R C answer I will be showing you. Let me show you the answer. Answer you can check it up here. Uh, the Excel is equal to 15.7 ohm, uh, set is equal to 18.6142 ohm, and the current is also given. Then power you will be getting 1154.6 watts. So this is regarding uh, the particular answer. Then let us move on to the third part. 
So third part, we'll see the third part. Okay. So third part is basically RLC circuit. R L C is an RLC circuit. The values are already given. 10 ohm, uh, 0.1 Henry, C is equal to uh, 50 microfarads. Correct. The voltage is already provided here. Okay. The voltage that is uh, P is equal to 141.4 sine 100 pi t. Okay. Find the current. First one is I is equal to V by Z. Correct. That is equal to V divided by square root of R square plus XL minus XC, the whole square. XL formula is available. XL is equal to 1 uh, L omega. L into 2 pi F. L into 2 pi F. So, no need to mention about 2 pi F. Directly omega is available. No. So, omega means uh, here. 100. 100 you can take directly. Omega will be 100 radian per second. 100 radian per second. Omega. Then the thing will be very easy. XC means 1 by C into omega. 1 by C into 100. Okay. You substitute. Then you will be getting the value of current. Next is uh, calculate VR. What is VR? VR is equal to I into R. Correct. VL is nothing but I into XL. VC is VC nothing but I into XC. That job also will be done. Then active power. So P is equal to VI cos phi. Then you can calculate the apparent power. P is equal to VRMS into IRMS. Okay, VRMS into IRMS. So, what is VRMS? VRMS is already given in the question now. So, like, uh, see, this is your VRMS. So, sorry, this is the maximum values. Okay, uh, VM is already given. VM is equal to 141.4. So, how to calculate VRMS? VRMS equal to VM divided by root 2. Therefore, I will be getting the VRMS. Okay, you can substitute VRMS. IRMS means, what is IRMS? VRMS divided by Z. That is called IRMS. So, you can easily compute. Okay. So, this is regarding um, the numerical solution so that you can manage it. Question number four, I think it's clear. So, two questions are purely numerical. So, you can really uh, practice it once. It is really uh, easy to work out and also it's not so complicated. Only substitution and you need to identify the equation properly and you have to correlate each other. Then, uh, Definitely you can get the answer. If you want, I will show you the answer. Okay, please work out. Answer will be like current is equal to 2.696. VL is equal to 92.98. VR is equal to 29.61. VC is equal to 188.43 volt. Uh, then uh, apparent power is uh, 296 volt ampere. Equation is very important. Then power is equal to 87. For real power or active power is equal to 87.67 uh, watts. These are the points you have to take care of. Now, question number uh, 5, question number 5a, okay, uh, that is from module number 3, derive an expression for EMF equation of generator, DC generator. So, you are supposed to derive, is EG is equal to uh, ZN 5 by 60 into P by N. Elaborate, you have to elaborate, you can derive with the help of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, okay. So, you will be getting 6 marks, okay, this you are supposed to, this much of volt, this much of volts will be generated. Explain the characteristics of a DC shun motor. So, NIA characteristics, NIA, NTA, then TAA characteristics. These are the things you are supposed to explain. Okay. Uh, you will get like a, uh, 3 plus 2 plus 2. Like that you will be getting. Okay. So, don't forget to write the mathematical expression also. So, like this, this characteristics you are supposed to plot at the last. First, you have to derive like a... Uh, how uh, how current and uh, armature current is directly proportional. That uh, reason you are supposed to state, then you are supposed to go ahead. Okay. So, so this is actually the way how to present the answer. I will be showing you how they present it. Okay. So, here you can check it check it up very carefully. So, you have to, first of all, you have to draw TAIA characteristics. Torque versus armature current characteristics. TAIA. Uh, then NIA characteristics then NTA characteristics, okay. So, these are the things uh, you are supposed to uh, explain, okay, with the help of mathematical expression and uh, like a, a scientific proof. Question number 5C, a shunt generator supplies. First, you draw the diagram, then the thing will be very easy. 
okay can if you draw the diagram 50 percentage is done so a shunt generator supplies shunt generator no so what you can do is one armature you can draw because operation of generator we require armature then we require a shunt field winding correct then we need a load right here voltage will be generated across the load correct because generation no okay see the voltage will be generated so now the shunt generator supplies the current of how much uh, one one uh, 195 ampere okay it, it generate the current of 195 195 195 ampere uh, the voltage across the armature that is uh, sorry voltage of armature will be 220 volt 220 volt correct uh, then armature resistance r r is already given r is equal to how much 0 0.02 ohm and rsh is how much shunt field resistance uh, 44 ohm that is the shunt field resistance find the emf generated okay simple one only so here uh, equation for emf generated eg is equal to v plus ia into r v plus ia r okay that's a formula voltage is given how much 220 volt ia we do not know ia ia we have to calculate how to calculate ia now very simple rule okay so this is the total current correct 195 okay 195 uh, so what you can do is uh, this is ish right ish ish this will be uh, IA. IA. Okay. Armature current. So you can use the KCL. KCL you can use. Use the KCL. You, you can uh, easily calculate the total amount of uh, like uh, armature current you can calculate. Okay. Ca uh, calculate the armature current. Use the KCL. Entering current will be equal to leaving current. Okay. That you can apply. Uh, then res armature resistance is already given. Then direct substitution. Easily you will be getting the answer. Okay, you can verify once. So note down these formulas. This diagram also important. Definitely the answer will be in your hand. Within a short span of time, you'll be getting the answer. So the ultimate answer will be uh, 224 volt. So please make a note of this. Okay, 200 volt. Fine. ISH you are supposed to calculate. How to calculate ISH? ISH is nothing but V by RSH. So V divided by RSH. That is the formula for ISH. Once you calculate ISH, you can calculate IA. IA is equal to IL plus ISH using the KCL, which I already mentioned you. Okay. So, so kindly work out and let me know. If you are not getting means, I will make a separate video for this particular problem. Very simple only. That's why I'm moving very fastly. Question number six, I derive the torque equation of DC motor. So what you're supposed to do is you need to derive the torque equation now. So here you are supposed to derive this expression. Uh, TA is equal to 0 0.159 set P divided by A into phi into IA Newton, Newton meter. So this is regarding the torque equation. Okay. So now let me move back to the second question. Uh, for uh, that question is related to generator. So we'll see. 8 pole lap pointed DC generator. 8 pole. So P is equal to 8, right? You make a note of this. P is equal to 8. It's a lap pointed. So the armature number of conductor per parallel path is equal to number of poles. Uh, the rotation speed of rotation is equal to 350 RPM. Uh, then uh, the generated voltage is how much? 260 volt. The useful magnetic flux, phi is equal to 0 0.05 Weber. Find the number of uh, find the number of conductors. Set I need to calculate. Very simple, direct substitution. Very easily you will be getting. So use the formula, eg is equal to a uh, set then phi by 60 into p by n p by n from this you substitute z eg uh, 60 a divided by uh, p n phi if you substitute you will be getting the number of conductors remember it's a lap pointed connection so let me see the answer so uh, like a uh, said said you will be getting uh, you will easily you can easily compute okay uh, 891 conductors you will be getting 891 okay you can this is the answer so answer, I'll be showing you. This is your answer. Okay. Ultimately, you have to reach this answer. Okay. Hope you can manage it. Kindly check it up once. You are getting the appropriate answer. Okay. So they later will proceed. If you have any queries, you can put in the comment box. Uh, I'm happy to revert. Okay. So this is regarding uh, question number uh, 6A. Uh, remaining question, I'm going to come up with uh, another session. 
So thank you so much for watching this video. Kindly request you to practice. Definitely you can succeed uh, in the coming examination. So if you are watching this channel first time, kindly subscribe. If the video is useful, kindly share with your friends and colleagues. Happy learning. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.